Hi, so today I'm going to do a video about how I recommend books. Um, I am constantly reading at work and everywhere. So I always have people ask or mention, I wish that I was a reader. And um, so basically what I normally do if I don't have a lot of time is I recommend something short and normally a classic. And a classic because it seems like a lot of people want to read classics so that they can say that they've read one and they sort of get the, um, what people are talking about. Um, one book, Moby Dick, that's way too big to recommend right at first. Um, and that's a difficult read, but I keep on seeing that, uh, referenced in a lot of TV shows, a lot of movies. Um, but there are a few other books out there. That I would definitely recommend and there's a lot of really short classics like Ray Bradbury's he's got a quite a few really good ones um, Fahrenheit 451 and the Martian Chronicles are very short but very good um, great um, and very pertinent today um, and then but normally if I have time I ask them like what are their favorite TV shows someone was just saying that um, he just liked a lot of horror and a lot of scary stuff, but it's hard to get really get scared. And I just instantly thought of um, The Woman in Black. It's really, really short. Um, it is like 160 pages, but I thought it was really scary. The um, Susan Hill really, really got the emotion through. And so I think, um, I think that was, this would be a really good one unless they've seen the movie. Although I haven't seen the movie yet. So I don't really know. I guess I should, shouldn't say much about that. Another one that I really like recommending, especially I'm a veteran. So when I talk to other vets, um, I really like Hugh Howey's Bacon 23. I don't know about how it ended. I read the ending. I'm just, I don't know what to think of that. But, um... I thought that it was really good. It was really funny. And there was a lot to get out of it, even for someone that's not a vet. And he isn't, but he really seems to hit on some subjects. Um, and like I said, this is really short. Wool came out, um, which is another big book of his. And it came out in like 40 page increments. And that was considered a book. And I think that if you're reading in it's just nice to say I've read an entire book if you're not a reader and you want to be. So I always, always try and recommend the super short books. Um, and then like I had a friend that was just talking, talking a lot about losing weight and I recommended one of Stephen King's books. Um, I just remember it had sunset in the title. I'm sorry, I have to link that below. And it was called The Stationary Bike. And I was trying to lose weight and I, um, I saw that in the title and I read it and it just, it made me think about things a little differently. So, so I definitely recommend that one and Skinny Me by Catherine Carr. That was really good. And, um, it's free on Kindle and a few other places. Um, if you don't get the actual physical book, but yeah, so that is how I normally recommend books um to people who ask that are occasional readers or don't read at all but want to and then um i always try and keep in mind like if they're very religious there are certain books i'm obviously not going to recommend because i you know there's a few out there that put down religion and then if they are atheists i'm not going to recommend ones where they kind of build it up that sort of thing so you know there's a few things to to keep in mind so that they actually like it I'm probably going to make a part two because I have a few more ideas. It's just, um, would be easier to organize them if I do a part two. So, but thank you for watching. If you are not a reader, um, and you want to be, tell me some of the TV shows that you like and some of the things you do, and I'll try and recommend as best as I can. Okay. Thank you for watching.